What do you think? It's a puppy spa. Puppy spa. Yeah. I poured apple juice and put cinnamon on it. That's Mrs. Carl. What does he want for Shampoo for you, buddy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> Carl. Good boy. <laughs> oh, you're not done yet. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's <laughs> 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 like losing it. <laughs> we should probably introduce Don. Uh, oh, that's okay. So John, John's the executive director here at the Humane Society. For how many years? Not quite two. Not quite two? Don, yeah. Don likes doing the paperwork. Yeah. I was going to say, it's Latin for expert <laughs> dog brusher. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll introduce Carl here. Carl's a... But when you guys see this, you'll, he's a... Uh, how does how this work again? He's a stray right now? He's a stray right now. He's only been here for five days, so there's still hope that he'll get claimed by an owner. But normally, by the time five days rolls around, if nobody's taking an interest in looking for their lost pet, that means they've been abandoned to the shelter. And he'll go up for adoption in another five days. Yeah. We've fostered a few puppies now, for a puppy and a cat. I don't know how it works. Don will tell us. <laughs> 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 so our foster program is mostly for animals that have medical needs where they require medicine or constant care that we can't provide them. But we also foster out animals during the holidays, during long weekends when they're going to spend extra time in the shelter and we want them to be, be in a home setting. Or if there's dogs that are just getting really tired of kennel life and we think they need a break. Um, just to socialize them and get them back into the feeling of being with a family. We're always looking for new foster families. So would you send Carl with a family to see how he gets along with maybe kids or a cat or another dog in a family home? We normally do that assessment here at the shelter so we have a good idea. Um, all adoptions require that the entire family comes to meet them, including other uh, dogs that might be in the home. So if somebody was looking to adopt Carl in five days, they could bring their dog in to meet Carl and they could go out to the exercise pen and play together to make sure that they get along well. With this, uh, with Carl, especially since we're grooming him, it's important that whoever adopts him understands the importance of grooming because a dog like him is going to He is to going to need care. Weekly grooming, yeah. For He's sure. going to love hair. <laughs> This is what you call professional grooming That's right here. Pretty good. Yeah, this is what they do in the high-end grooming salons for dogs. Carl, you're high maintenance. Double. Teamwork. Someone holds the dog in their face while the other comes holds yeah. underbelly. In your nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking good, Mr. Carl. Oh my gosh, you could just brush his hair all day long. Oh, you could probably tell everybody too, the, uh, the Humane Society does this, uh, this service, do they not? Bathing and nail trims. Yeah, bathing and nail trims. There. <laughs> Carl's got a bow tie. There, you're a tuxedo puppy. <laughs> <laughs>